Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a another shoe unboxing. I have already just filmed a TUK creeper unboxing and also a hot chocolate design review. So if you like these types of shoe unboxings then please consider subscribing and I will get into this video now. So the boots that I'm going to be unboxing today are a pair of Doc Martens and these are called the Blake Tall Boots. So they are a different style to like the normal classic Doc Martin. I did order these because basically when I went to London for my birthday, I went to like the Doc Martin shop and I saw these in the shop and they were in like a size four and I just thought they looked so cool and like so different. I didn't really want to buy them because I was trying to save money at the time but then I went back online and I saw that they were in like the clearance section. I figured that if I didn't get them now then I wasn't ever going to get them because they won't be restocking these basically. I'm not sure if these are still available. If they are I will link them below but I know they had limited sizing. So I ordered these on the 20th of January. I am doing this video a little bit later because it is now the 2nd of March. <laughs> so yeah, I ordered these from like the official Doc Martin website and then they were shipped on the 20th of January. I then got an email on the 21st of January, so literally the next day, saying that the Doc Martin package is all like packaged up and ready to be collected by the courier company, which was Royal Mail. And then I got an email on the 20th Third, letting them know that my parcel would be delivered the next day and then finally on the 24th they said my parcel was out for delivery which it was so it took four days from when I ordered it to when I actually received the shoes so this is what the shoes look like as you can see they are a tall pair of boots they did arrive in the standard Doc Martin box and that's the style of them over there and as you can see I did get them in a size 4 so I have had some issues with Doc Martens in the past because I originally had the red patent pair I think it's 1460 like that style and I bought them in a 5 because I was preparing for if my feet grew but they never did so they were always a bit big for me and I wasn't really wearing red anyway so I sold those on and got a pair kind of similar to this this kind of height with a zip down but they were kind of the lace-up classic style but the leather was really weird on them it was basically solid leather up until the heel and then all through here it was like flimsy it wouldn't even like stay up it just like fell down so they were a really weird style and because of that the blisters they gave were just horrendous they literally like took a slice out my heel which was horrible so i ended up selling those on and i also had a pair of doc martin shoes in a three because I figured the four was like all right but they were a little bit big so I thought maybe the three would be better so I bought those in a three and they were too tight basically I am around a three and a half but obviously they don't do half sizes so I do go for a four and just put a pair of insoles in them with thick socks and they fit perfectly four pairs later I bought some Doc Martin second hand off of eBay and they are the 1460 classic like black patent Doc Martin and I bought them like worn once for £30 which was such a good deal and I wear them like every day to university because they're so comfy and they didn't take that much breaking in I'm not sure if it's because they were worn like once before but I would have thought they would have taken longer to break in because they are Doc Martens. I have those, I wear them every day, but the creasing in them with like the patent shiny leather, it's starting to like peel off. So I really wanted a pair to like alternate between those and another pair. So I was originally looking at a white pair, but I thought they just get too muddy, especially as I am at like an art school. <laughs> so when I saw these, I thought these are perfect. They're a bit different. They're really easy to get on and off because they have the zip. Not many of my shoes really 
have a zip to be honest like most of them are either lace up or buckles so i really liked that and they were the kind of style that i really liked something that also drew me to them is i really can't stand when shoes are interesting at like the side but then face on they're really boring but what i really liked about these i'm not sure if you'll know what i mean but when they look kind of flat on they look very combat-y because of these like extra pieces of leather here because these do come away from the shoe i feel like they'd look good with skirts dresses trousers like anything so i thought that these were really versatile so i will go through the main features of these now starting at the base they do have the classic doc martin sole with this base as you can see i haven't worn them yet i was waiting to film this video i have worn them around the house a little bit so that's the toe area again kind of standard round doc martin toe area with the stitching along here and then this is where it kind of starts on the detail so there is a piece of leather here connected to an o-ring i did just tighten these straps so there is an o-ring here connecting these two buckles and these two are actually adjustable so they kind of came like that so you could see the o-ring a little bit better but i did tighten them and those go round and connect to here and also the straps don't cover the zip, which I really, really like. <laughs> so it just makes them easier to get on and off. And this strap does come around here, little focus. So yeah, that one does go around there. And then moving up, there is a, another buckle. This one is the only kind of bronze color. The rest are all black. I mean, I do really like the black buckles, but I also do like this one. <laughs> and all the buckles do say Doc Martens on them they've kind of been engraved here again this one is fully adjustable again connects at the front and then around the back and then moving up to the final two these do cross over again like another detail which i really liked again they say doc martens on the buckles and are black this time and again fully adjustable which i really really like these two do cross over into the same piece of leather as you can see and again connect before the zip so that's kind of the main buckle detail on this so on the other side as you've already seen there is a zip here again with doc martens on it this seems like really sturdy like it's because i'm trying to do it with the opposite hand like it's not it's a little bit stiff but it feels like sturdy stiff if that makes sense rather than bad quality stiff the heel area here seems quite solid to be honest i mean there is a bit of squish here but there is an extra piece of leather that's been stitched onto the back which makes this like solid <laughs> i am a little bit concerned about breaking these in because of the issues i had with the other ones but these have actually been made out of like a softer leather which should make them a little bit easier to break in in theory but i can definitely tell that kind of where this solid piece of leather ends i feel like that's mainly going to be the rubbing point i was going to break them in fully in the house but honestly i just can't bring myself to wear shoes in the house which is a bit weird so i am thinking of just like bandaging up my feet and going like to university for like a few hours in them and probably wear leggings so if anything does happen i can change plasters or add plasters or whatever and not get stuck like i did one time where i had to cut a hole in my tights to add plasters <laughs> on the train <laughs> so yeah really excited about these the leather as i keep talking about it is actually like a real proper leather i don't know if they do vegan options for these but as i've mentioned in so many of my videos now i do prefer real leather it's sturdy it forms to your feet it's better quality so of course i was going to pick the leather option so that's kind of the main details of them they do also have the classic doc martin like yellow tag here to help you put your shoes on and inside they just have the tongue here that connect through the like pieces of leather at the front and the inside of the boot seems like a nice quality it does feel quite soft and i have just put like my insoles inside of them 
I'm not sure if you can really see the heel of the shoe but when I put them on they seem comfortable again as I said apart from the heel which I'm a little bit concerned about but I'm really hoping that I can manage to break these in because they seem like such a nice pair of shoes and I could see these becoming like an everyday shoe especially as they do have the zips they're a bit easier to put on so yeah that's kind of the main features of the shoe here's the other one as well so yeah that's what they look like i will also include like a shot of a shot a video of me trying these on as well so you can see what they look like on <laughs> the boots that I picked up in terms of pricing I believe these were 125 pounds which is not cheap <laughs> so I'll just go to the order confirmation yeah so I believe these were around 170 or 180 pounds originally and then they got reduced to 125 I mean that is a saving but then it's not like an amazing deal or anything i mean whenever you get to the 100 pound mark for shoes i feel like that starts to get expensive um delivery was free which honestly i would kind of expect <laughs> if i'm paying 125 pounds for shoes but i think it was the fact that i knew they weren't going to restock them and i saw them in the shop and they were like a size four and i felt like that was a sign <laughs> so yeah really excited to start wearing these in well no i'm not that's a lie i'm not looking forward to breaking these in but i'm looking forward to the stage after they're broken in where i can just wear them with kind of any piece of clothing and hopefully you will be seeing these in future outfit of the days too so kind of in conclusion customer service was okay i didn't have to like contact them or anything delivery was super super quick i'm really really happy with how these came they were also like stuffed with tissue paper to keep their shape and overall i'm just really really happy with them i will be doing a future video with these and also the tuk creepers and also <laughs> The hot chocolate design shoes because those are the three that i've got most recently but i haven't had kind of the time to give a full in-depth review on them in terms of comfortability and the breaking in process so i will be doing an update video after i've worn those a bit more if you want to see an update on these then remember to subscribe because that will be coming in the future <laughs> that is my unboxing of the doc martin tall blake boots if you enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe if you want to see more kind of shoe unboxings and also that future review that i just mentioned like this video if you did enjoy it comment down below if you've bought doc martens before and if you managed to pick up this style in the sale kind of press the notification bell if you want to be notified when i do upload and i will see you in my next video bye